Okay, now let's talk about how to properly organize stuff to get started for XGen. Um, so I want to make sure that I don't have anything magnetized. There we go. And I've got my bases created, but now what? So now let's go ahead and create a project folder. So I'm going to go to File, Project Window, and I'm going to say New. I'm just going to call this XGen um, Example. And I'm going to save it on the desktop and I click accept. Okay, great. I can see that it's located right here on my desktop. And if I double click on it, um, it'll open up and it'll have a bunch of folders where things will be saved. Um, notice there's not an XGen folder right now. When we start the XGen process, it'll actually create an XGen folder. And in scenes, that's where the scenes are going to be saved. Um, things like masks and stuff like that will be um, saved in source images. And so it, it, in other words, it doesn't really matter where it's being saved, but the most important thing is that it's being saved in a particular location. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that right now. Um, and I'm gonna save the scene. So I'm gonna go file, save scene as, and I'm just gonna call this, you know, xgen practice underscore zero zero one and save as, okay, great. Um, now again, if I open this up, I can see that in scenes, it saved it right there. Okay, now we're ready to begin. So now if I go here, XGen window, um, and by the way, I'm just gonna go back to my preferences and I'm just gonna see what this is set to. I'm just gonna set this back to centimeter. Okay, now that didn't really change the size of anything. It's just kind of, um, that's the scale that it's universally using right now. Um, Okay, great. So I clicked on that. Now I have the XGen menu in the attribute editor. Um, and now create new description. Now this is usually where people get super confused and um, like it's kind of weird to start. And I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna start on the head here. So I need something selected. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say create new description. Again, this is where it gets a little confusing. So I'm gonna call this um, M um, okay, main, so M underscore main hair for male, main hair. And I'm going to say create a new collection and that new collection will be called male. Okay. Now I'm going to say, how do I want to create it? I want these, uh, manual guides that I'll be putting in that I'll be showing later and I'll go ahead and hit create. Now what that did is it created a, a something here. It also, if I go in here, created an XGen folder. And in collections, I can see that there's mail. Okay, now I'm not gonna get into anything over here yet. I'm gonna continue kind of setting up my descriptions. So if I go here, I'm gonna go to description, create description. And now I'm gonna say M eyebrows. And I'm gonna say, I wanna say I wanna add that to the mail section. And I'm gonna, again, have these uh, uh, guides that I'm gonna manually place, hit create. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna to go to the beard and I'm gonna go description, create description. And you guessed it, M beard. And this time maybe I want it to be stubble. So maybe I'll have, um, groomable splines. Okay, you can see how that's different. Um, I'm gonna also have it in the mail, um, and, and I'll get into that later in the guides description, or in the guides lesson, but I feel like just so we can kind of see a difference there. Okay, I'll hit create, and now I'll go over to this one. I'll select this. Again, description, create description. I'm gonna have this F main hair for female main hair and I'm going to say create a new collection female and again placing and shaping guides create and one more so I've got to click on this create description and I'm going to say to female and there we go Excellent. And now you can kind of start to see why I had two characters in the scene. I feel like 
I can see that the male has the mane hair, the eyebrows, and the beard, and the female has the mane hair and the eyebrows. And over here is where we're gonna control everything, but I feel like I wanted to show you this. So if I click on male, anything I do in here is going to be obviously pertaining to the beard. Um, anything I do in here now would be for the male's eyebrows or for the male's mane hair. Over or if I want to go to the female, I would just switch here and now I can have, here's control on her hair or eyebrows. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this to male, maybe main hair. Um, and now that's great. I feel like um, I am all set. I should look, I should mention if I go, go in here, if I go into XGen collections, I can see here's my um, eyebrows. Now, none of these folders have anything in but you can see it's set up. And it was important that we had that project folder set up prior so everything would know where to go. Um, source images, if I come in here, once we go, once we start to um, do some, you know, creating some stuff and rendering, we'll start to see that populate. And in scenes, I can see here. So I think I'm about ready to move on. So I'm just gonna go file, save scene as, All right, excellent.